Hello, welcome back. I'm Thomas Boucher, and in this video, we'll take a look at doing some brass casting using sand cores. If you watched my last video, then you'll remember me making the sand cores for doing some brass casting, and I'm gonna try them out. I've got a crucible in the forge right now heating up some brass, and I will say, if you're gonna try doing this at home, do it at your own risk. This can be kind of nasty, as some of the fumes that come out of this can be really bad for you. Uh, you want to be somewhere really well ventilated. Um, I've got all the air going straight up out the chimney here, and I also have a fan going in the other room that's circulating air through the shop. While that's heating up, so it'll take a little while, I'm going to pack my mold. And I did a video before on brass casting, and I haven't done this a ton, so by no means am I an expert, but I find that it's actually not too hard to do. I could probably get better and improve on the process, but um, for what I've done so far, it seemed to work all right. So I've got a two-piece mold. You can buy these. I fabricated this one. And I'm using what's called Delft clay. And I'll put some links in the description as to where you can kind of find some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is start packing some of this clay into half of the mold. And this stuff's like, a, like an oily sand, I guess. Kind of wants to stick together. I'm gonna pack it in as best as you can. I like to try to cast multiple pieces at once if I can. While I'm pouring, I might as well. So now I've got to put my piece into the mold here. I want to try to get it about halfway in. I find that while I do this, I just kind of get this clay all over the place and just sort of deal with it. You need the mold release, that way when you put the top half on, you can get them apart. I guess you can buy commercial products for that. I just use baby powder. That's what I was taught to use. It works fine. Really curious to see how these sand cores are going to work out. If I did this right, these will come apart easy enough. So I need to do carve out an area. I believe you call this a sprue for the brass to pour in through. Try that. The brass is getting pretty close. But when you pour, you want to pour fast but even. Um, and you basically just pour until the brass starts filling up in the sprue area here. And either it went all the way or it didn't, hopefully it does. Alright, I'm going to open this up and check it out. And look at that, I got a complete pour. So that's what I got there, and hopefully my sand pour will bust out. It's just hard to tell when you start pouring, it just doesn't seem like it's enough, but clearly there was enough there. Yeah, I'm going to say, I think my sand pour worked. I won't know until I cut this apart, but I think it worked.
I'm gonna call it a night. I didn't get everything cast that I wanted, but it kind of takes a little while. I did get quite a bit cast, and they're not all perfect. Some of these um, will probably end up getting remelted down and cast again. But before I get out of here, I wanted to cut one apart and show you closer up what the sand core was doing. It seems to have worked really well. Hopefully you can see that sand core in there. And it should just bust right out. I'm gonna try to do that real quick. I've got all this flashing and stuff to clean off of it, but having that square hole through, it's gonna be a huge help. As always, don't forget to check the links in the description below. You can head over to my Instagram, that'll give you a behind the scenes look at what I'm currently working on. You can head over to my website, pick up some merchandise. It really helps me and supports the work that I'm doing here. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, as that'll keep you up to date with stuff like this brass casting video, as well as future projects I do, and my shop build, which as you can see is coming along nicely, I'm starting to get some boards on the wall. Thanks again for watching, bye.